take a second and breathe. What does this feel like? You just won Best Director of a Musical on Broadway. I can't believe it. I think it reflects every single person who worked on this incredible show. Every one of my collaborators, the cast, um, Susie Hinton, who wrote the incredible story. I was so moved by your show when I saw it, um, not just because of what was happening on stage, but there seems to be a visceral response from the audience, especially yes. young people, yes. who are screaming yes. for moments, for story moments. And you always, I always, I always get a little um, uninspired that our, our young people missing the moments in theater, but it, you proved it to be uh, very well, very much alive. Talk to me about what the audience response to this show has meant to you. Oh, it's meant the world. You know, Susie Hinton wrote this book when she was a teenager, and she wrote it because she felt like people weren't giving an authentic account of what it feels like, and I really took that to heart, and so when young people have their reaction to the show, it feels like we're telling the truth. Yeah. When people of any age have that reaction, because I don't know about you, but my 15-year-old self is very much alive. That's when I became who I am. Yeah. Um, so it means the world to me. It's what we set out to do. Uh, we wanted to make it for young people, for all people. Um, and so the fact that it's resonating with them, yeah, it means the world. I, I, how do you jump into developing the outsiders for the stage? Because watching it, it's, I couldn't believe what I was witnessing from the projections to the choreography to there's fire on stage. Yeah. There's, there is all these things that you don't see coming. It was the most unexpected show I had seen in a while, but it did not feel like a normal musical that we're used to. What was that process of kind of tearing apart the material and putting it back together in this new way? Well, I think all great art starts with the story. So we have a great story, and every decision we made was to follow the story. Yeah. Susie Hinton's book follows Pony Boy's point of view, so everything we did was to try to make it feel like how it feels to this 14-year-old kid and jump inside his eyes. And every single person who worked on it, Justin Levine, John Clay, Zach Chance, the composers, and Adam Rapp, and the choreographers, we all dug in, and we didn't stay in our lanes. That's Everybody did everything. We all talked about everybody's business. Same with the design team. Um, the cast was so deeply involved and brought so much of themselves. So I think, you know, I love the form of musical. I bow down to it. It's, you know, it's so powerful. And I think we tried to just use the form to its most, you know, impactful self every at every step of the way. This show is now going to go on the road and, and inspire people all across the country and I assume you're going to work on that and put that together for a tour. Absolutely. How does that, is that exciting for you that this isn't the end? I mean this is obviously a celebration of that moment but now the Outsiders gets to have a its next life. Tell me about that. I'm so excited to bring this to towns and cities. So many people can't leave where they're from to come to New York and see Broadway. This story is a healing story. People need it. And so to be able to take it on the road is so important to me. Something else I dream about is when it can go into high schools and kids can take it and make it their own. It's a story that you can cast in whatever way your community needs. And so I hope this is just the beginning for this story to live in this incredible form that can reach so many people. It's a true Really one of the most just incredible nights I've had uh, at the theater. <laughs> Thank you. Now you, of course, follow in the footsteps of your, of your aunt, yeah. I mean, who also revol revolutionized musical theater. <laughs> Are you thinking about that as well? Of course I am. She was the first woman to win a Tony for direction of a musical. Yep. It's wild. I'm sure we're the only uh, aunt and niece to... Uh... I, somebody check that. I'm going to guess she's right. Yeah. <laughs> and you know, both our shows are on 45th Street. It's uh, yes, on the yes. same side of 45th Street. I assisted my aunt when I first got here. It's incredible. I never thought I'd be here for directing a musical. Um, yeah, and she paved the way, you know? That's why I prepared. That's right. Okay. Look at that and got up with perfect ease.